Let's pray. Father, thank you for this morning, God. Thank you for your faithfulness to the life of our students, Father, that will finish uh, uh, senior high, Father. I pray that continue to bless them. And this morning, God, we will celebrate their sacrifices and even, Lord God, recognize uh, their hard work, Lord. And even I pray for the parents, God, that uh, supporting them financially. God, thank you for their life, Father. Continue to bless them despite of this pandemic, God. And Lord, I pray, God, that Lord continue to protect us, even this, uh, the program this morning, uh, Father, even online, Father, they will uh, really uh, enjoy and celebrate, God, your faithfulness, even uh, finishing this senior high, Father. And Lord, thank you for the life of our student. Bless our program, God, from the start until the end, Father. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen.
parents and guardians, and match 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, magandang Birkenshire and a pleasant morning to all of us. Today, we come together to celebrate another achievement of our senior high school students, your sons and daughters, for these four commencement exercises with the team, strengthening the quality of education amidst COVID-19 pandemic. It is indeed a special day to rejoice and be glad, for the Lord has made it to happen, despite the many challenges brought about by the global pandemic. Today culminates another year of learning and discovery, perseverance and hard work among our learners in the new normal, where our learners made our homes as their classroom to attend their online classes. This celebration also marks another year of successful partnership among our parents, faculty and staff, and the Department of Education and other stakeholders of different roots, culture, and traditions. For our senior high school, graduation is the beginning of their new journey to self-discovery as they continue to pursue what they really want to achieve in life. Graduation is significant for our parents and guardians as their children's achievements are theirs as well. This year's theme, it is a manifestation of a continued and strong commitment and loyalty to our country, no matter how challenging it may be. We just continue to give our best for our students. Broken Share College Subsurgent Incorporated is guided by its core values, mission, and vision to produce not just globally competitive BCSI graduates, but who are bearers of God's message of love, hope, and gratitude. A PCSI graduate who is Godly leaders. For our parents and guardians of the batch 2021, who played a very significant role in the lives of these students, your untiring support to their needs helped them to be resilient and put their strong faith in God. To our young and dynamic batch 2021, continue to work hard and achieve for your dreams. Never forget to bring along with you the core values BCSI have taught you and continue to lead BCSI mission. Remember, the most important aspect of your profession is faith and service. As you welcome another chapter of your life, keep doing your best and show excellence in everything you do. Wherever life plants you, bloom with grace for God's glory. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, the Administration of Broken Shark College, Sock Surgeon Incorporated, I warmly welcome all of you to this for commencement exercises. Once again, magandang Broken Shark. Have a good day, everyone. To our college president, Dr. Bennett L. Mercado, by virtue of my designation as the principal of the senior high school department, I have the honor to present to you two males and 13 females from the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics strand, where one male and two females from the accountancy, business, and management strand, Three males and five females from the Humanities and Social Sciences strand, with a total of 26 candidates who have satisfactorily completed the curriculum for their specific strand prescribed by the Department of Education of the Republic of the Philippines and duly approved by the Board of Trustees of Brokenshire College Succession Incorporated, hence acceptance and confirmation of their graduation is hereby requested and their credentials be released to them.
by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Broken Shire College of Sergeant Incorporated as the President and the rights and privileges granted to me by the Department of Education, I hereby accept the petition for the 15 candidates from the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics strand, three candidates from the Accountancy, Business, and Management strand, and eight candidates from the Humanities and Social Sciences strand. I now confer you graduates of Senior High School Program. Congratulations, my dear graduates. First of all, I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone, the Brokenshire Senior High School Department, for choosing me to give a message for Batch 21 on this memorable event, Graduation Day. I want also to congratulate all the graduates of this batch because you have surpassed the challenges during this pandemic. This is just the beginning of your journey. There are still a lot of challenges along the way. But the most important thing is that this brings you more closer to your dreams. It's been a year since COVID-19 pandemic brought about changes in our lives. There are things usually we did in the past that are not allowed today. Especially for students, na hindi pwedeng lumabas. Dati, pwede tayong maglakad-lakad anytime kung gusto natin. And I know you really miss going to school and having face-to-face -face lectures. Excited tayong makikita yung mga teachers natin kumakain sa kantin with our classmates. Makikita yung crushes natin at higit sa lahat doing activities at school. When this with this, I want to share with you our team for this event, strengthening the quality of education amidst this COVID-19 pandemic. The COVID-19 crisis has forced education systems worldwide to find alternatives to face-to-face -face instruction. As a result, modular and online teaching and learning have been used by teachers and students on an unprecedented scale. Since lockdowns may be needed again in the future to respond to new waves of the infection until a vaccine becomes available at all. Our educational systems are doing its best to still implement the standard of education amidst this pandemic. The teachers, too, are adjusting to new normal, having their lectures alone in front of their cell phones, tablets, laptops, computers, and even taking videos just to ensure that learning is given. But how should students respond Amidst this pandemic, how would you respond when facing new chapter in your life at this time, going to a more challenging stage, taking up college, still with COVID-19? Sometimes, easy lang sa atin na magsasabing, we will stop or quit na lang. But I want to tell you, dear graduates, that we can be positive in a negative situation. And this brings to my message for today's event, being great amidst pandemic. The old expression about seeing a glass as half full or half empty may have a ring of truth to it. When you're dealing with tough times, it's easy to feel overwhelmed a positive outlook can really help you cope with your situation and find potential solutions. And though it may seem difficult, there are some things you can do to keep positive during this time. 
to make things a little easier for you, I've put together a list of ideas and described it as great. G-R-E-A-T. So I have five ideas on how you should deal with yourself in this time of pandemic. First letter is G. Means get only the things you can control. Don't worry about the things you can't. It can feel like the world is piling on top of you during tough times. But it's important that you keep your perspective focused on what's important. Even if there are tons of things going on right now, you can solve all of the world's problems. One at a time, ika nga. Things about the action you can take and what you can actually do about your situation. I want to share with you our experience during our online classes. Some of our students always have reasons that they cannot submit their assignments, exams online, because of low connectivity and even there is brownout. So what we did, we instructed them to always be ready. If they have classes, they have to fully charge their phones and be ready with backup loads. During our online examination, they are instructed to write their answers on the paper while answering on the Google Forms so that if during submission and they cannot submit it because of low connectivity, they still have their answers with them. Instead, they can take a picture of their answers written on the paper then submit the picture to their instructors. So why stress ourselves to the things we can control? Instead, get only things we can control. The next letter is letter R, which stands for refocus on your situation from another's perspective. Think about the positive things that can come as a result. When you are dealing with lots of difficult or stressful things at once, it can be easy to fall into the trap of seeing yourself as a victim of circumstances. Instead, think about what you got into the situation and why things are tough right now. Try to think about the potential positive things that can happen and what can you do to try to improve your situation. For example, because of financial reasons and you feel that it is impossible for you to continue schooling, especially in college, then look at the brighter side. Take this opportunity to look for scholarships. Chad offers scholarships. Marami nagsusponsor ng scholarship for tertiary schools. Hindi po rason ang pagiging mahira para hindi natin maabot ang ating pangarap. I know you heard the news about a 16-year-old who become millionaire because of this pandemic by selling online. Wow, nakaka-inspire. Looking at the situation in a new perspective. So take this opportunity to see the brighter side of the situation. The next letter is letter E. And E stands for enjoy doing things. Your hobbies and interests can keep your spirits up. Just because times are tough doesn't mean you should put aside or ignore the things that make you happy. Continue to make time for you to pursue your hobbies or passions that you have which can help you cope with the stress of difficult times. Take this opportunity to enjoy simple things in life. For instance, if you love to draw, play music, play indoor sports or games, or spend time in nature. Don't put your interest on pose when you're struggling. They are still important and they will help you manage your stress. 
Number four letter is letter A. Acknowledge the good things in your life. Practice gratitude for everything you have. Instead of thinking of all the negative things you're dealing with right now, try to think about the positives. Focus on what you do have going for you rather than what you don't. For instance, if you feel bored right now because of just staying at home, you can practice gratitude by thinking about all the things you have, such as the place to live, a tasty meals on the table that your parents are preparing, a healthy family, a time spent at home because of this lockdown, the bondings with your family, your parents, siblings, your relatives. You see, this is the time when members of the families come together and seeing each other at home 24-7. Count your blessings and acknowledge all the things that you have. And the last letter is letter T. This is the time to post and pray. There is highlight and stress, fears and anxiety in our world today. Taking a pose is not quitting. Sometimes we take a rest because we want to store energy for our next battle. When we pose, we can reconnect ourselves to the one created us. In times of negative situations, ask God to show His plans for you. This time is a unique season where God is taking us out of our normal routines of life in order to be centered around Him again. For many of us, we have a unique opportunity to have extended time at home and more flexible with our time like never before. To pray always is God's clear will for us. We no longer have the excuse of not having enough time to pray. Take advantage of this season to deepen your prayer life. We need this. Our soul needs this. Our family needs this from us. With the burdens and stress that come upon us each day, we need to cast all our cares, worries, and burdens to our Creator, knowing that He cares for us. We are in a season where God is calling us to pose and pray. Learn to pray. Let this prayer be your home. I want to end this message with a Bible verse taken in Psalm 46, and it says, God is our refuge and our strength, our ever-present help in times of trouble. The reality is this, there are still difficult times. There will still be difficult times. But God promises to be our refuge. When buildings crumbling and our world is shaken, or even this pandemic will not come to an end soon, don't lose hope. Don't quit. Continue to reach your dreams. Now is the time to stand and start walking the path where your journey leads. God has not failed us. He has promised to be with us even when our path is unclear. If you cannot see God's hand, trust His heart. Congratulations, Batch 21 of Broken Shark College Subsurgeon Incorporated Senior High School Department. Go high, fly high, and soar high, but remain footed on the ground. Feel great, do great amidst this time of pandemic because great things happen to those who is with the Lord. Magandang broken share sa ating lahat. 
batch 2021 Senior High School Virtual Graduation Ceremony. Humanities and Social Sciences Strand. Loreto Lady May Ortebano. Oria Aliera Hamsa. Palacio Filomena Kiss Monino. Kisay Pauline Ann Napala. Vergara Ran Princess Colonia. Española Kais Luis Goriesa. Gajali Muhammad Yusuf Ibrahim. Mamarato Angelo Palomar. Accountancy, Business and Management Strand. Peralta Rochi Orias. Roja Sanrica Verdida. Soriano James Dominic Estardo. Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Strand. Bernales Rea May Wedding. Polonos Shania Beronilia. Taniete Blesa Cassandra Berafuentes. Colonia Berlin Estepano Aubrey Yesuda Jana Lagaras Crispin de la Bahan Makado Trisha Nicole Yap Mamongkara Johanna Makauyag Olivero Sivay Ann Pinky Ann Soledad Fritzy V. Marie Mendez Villaflores Ramona Cristel Mondejar Zeta Shina May Villar Benemerito King Clarence Conlu Diot Jaime Jan Harayo
Batch 2021 Academic Honors. Class Valedictorian, Caniete Blesa Cassandra Mirafuentes. Class Salutatorian, Española Kais Luis Gorieza. Special Awards. Best in STEM, Caniete Blesa Cassandra Mirafuentes. Best in Humes and Departmental Service Award, Española Kais Ruiz Gorieza. Best in Departmental Leadership Award, Mamongkara Johanna Makauyag. Congratulations, Senior High School Graduates, Batch 2021! Magandang broken chan. To the members of the Board of Trustees, headed by the Chairman, Attorney Samuel R. Matino, to our hard-working and dedicated College President, Dr. Bennett L. Mercado, Members of the school council, academic heads, faculty and staff, our dear parents, friends, and fellow graduates of Batch 2021, a pleasant day to all of you. Much has happened in this school year 2020 to 2021, including our continuous battle against the global outbreak of COVID-19. Despite these challenges, we are blessed to gather virtually for the fourth senior high school graduation for Batch 2021. This celebration is an acknowledgement of how we triumph amidst the challenges of our journey to finally complete our senior high school education. I, along with my fellow batchmates, have experienced a lot of struggles in the midst of crisis. We know our time is challenging courageously embracing the new normal in the educational system. We continue to fight a battle where our enemy is unseen. We continue to pursue our dreams under pressures and in the labyrinth of this pandemic where people have been encouraged to stay at home with their family and face-to-face -face classes have been cancelled. Online education looks to be the only option for us students to continue our education. And I, myself, admit that it was not always easy. It took some time to get used to the new system of having classes in our homes. We had to quickly adapt to the changes and empower ourselves to rise above these challenges. But amidst all these challenges, an opportunity to chance and chance to learn new things and unlearn unnecessary habits have been given to us as we strive to finish the year with both strength and bravery. Thus, it resulted to a new outlook in our student life. Personally, this time has offered me an opportunity for growth and resilience beyond my imagination. After all the sleepless nights and much class classwork, my fellow graduates, this is our most awaited day, a day to celebrate and reap what we've sown. We had effectively closed one chapter in our life, and we finally made it true and will now be remembered as a part of the school's history. However, we would have never made it this far if it weren't for the people who helped us along the way. To our beloved teachers, Thank you very much for your utmost patience despite all the struggles that we may have caused you. As a teacher, you gave us the tools we need to face our future. You always emphasize the value of hard work and discipline. To our parents and guardians, thank you for your help and support throughout these years. We are very grateful for your efforts in helping us to achieve things we thought we couldn't. But most especially to my family, to my father, Normando Hanyata, 
I want to let you know that I appreciate all your sacrifice to provide for me and to give me this gift of education. And finally, to all of my batchmates, I cannot express enough how thankful I am to have met all of you. I am grateful for the friendship and camaraderie that you have shown me. Just a reminder that every difficulty we successfully overcome strengthens not just our will, but also our confidence and our ability to face future challenges. As we bravely approach to the next stage of our lives, may God continually bless us in all things that we do. Remember, the next time we're confronted with the great challenges that seem impossible to conquer, always remember this verse from Philippians chapter 4, verse 30, which says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And always remember, the first reason why we started this journey is that someday, as we look back, at your journey, you can finally say this is what I pray for. Today marks the official end to our journey as senior high school students to our alma mater, Broken Shore College, South Surgeon in Kirkland. Please, allow me to share these wise words by Booker Washington. Success is to be measured not so much by the position that one has reached in life as by the obstacles which he has overcome. So I challenge everyone to spread out your wings and soar higher than before for God's glory. Let us chase our dreams, my fellow senior high school graduates. Congratulations and cheers for more fruitful years. God bless us. Magandang broken child and good day. To our guest speaker, Ms. Jubilee Fortaleza, RNMN. To the members of the school council, to the members of the management committee, parents, guests, faculty and staff, graduates, good morning. We always say that time flies so fast. Indeed, it does. As it flies, time never goes back to its current circumstance. Just like life, Life is like the water in the river. It will never flow backwards. According to a 10-day plan, I shall pass this way but once. Any good that I can do or any kindness that I can show to any human beings, let me do it now. Let me not defer or neglect it, for I shall not pass this way again. We will never pass this way again. This time, this day, this month, this year, will never come back. Next year, it will already be 2022. So always make the best of it. Never waste each time given to you. Do not count each moment, but make each moment count. You have finished senior high school already, but you are still a long way to go. You still have a long way to go. Use your time to learn and relearn, making yourself better every day. Check your activities. Will it help you develop yourself? Remember, you are moving forward to college. And in college, it is quite difficult. College life is not easy. Are you ready for it? Brokenshire College of Sergeant Incorporated may have equipped you, but it's still up to you to face every challenge that comes your way. It will always be in your hands. No one can help yourself first except you yourself. But most important is never forget the Lordship of God. In your lives. Everything comes from Him and we can never do something without Him. God loves us so much that even if sometimes we fail Him, He continuously loves us so much. So, 
Therefore, we have to radiate that love to others, for we may never pass this way again. God bless everyone. Evermore thy praise is here Forever the Lord will lead us In all thy coming days Thy dear name will guide us Through duty's winding ways Thy dear name will guide us Through duty's winding ways When service draws us By fabric's bed of pain Oh may thou gladly find us With no doubt of prize or gain to mankind suffer, our footsteps guided be. When in this shed of labor, thy cherished name will see. When in this shed of labor, thy cherished name will see. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for the success of our virtual activity today. Although still we are not used to this setup, we are much thankful for the wisdom and your guidance to the administrator of Broken Shire College of Sargent Incorporated to manage and pursue any activity for your glory and honor. I pray that you will bless our graduates. Please guide them as they will be in the next step of their academic journey. Please be with them as they will be able to reach their dreams. Lord, please continue also to bless and provide the needs of every family. Protect and cover them with your precious blood. Thank you, Lord, that you are always with us. May the God of peace who raised Christ strengthen your inner being for every good work and may the blessing of God Almighty Father, Son and Holy Spirit rest upon you and dwell within you this day and forevermore Amen